So um, I want to just quickly introduce our next speaker. Um, Cheyenne Saunter is the executive director of ArtShare LA. Uh, they are a strategic partner of ours. Um, we are doing some exciting things with ArtShare, including uh, partnering on the Not Real Art Grant that we will talk about in a little bit. But uh, without any further ado, I want to bring up Cheyenne Saunter. Hey, everyone. Wow, what an exciting day. I hope you guys have, have really gotten a lot out of this. Can I get a what's up, an amen? We're in a church. <laughs> There's my stuff. So um, I'm Cheyenne, I'm Cheyenne Sauter. I'm the director of ArtShare Los Angeles. And um, woo, thank you. Um, and I just want to say, commend you guys and say congratulations. You're here to learn about how you can improve your craft, how you can market it more successfully, how you can constructively and tactively grow it. So kudos to you for taking this step. And like they said, you don't give up and no one's going to hand it to you. You have to work for it. But I'm here to share with you a little message that I've learned along the way. I've been working with emerging artists for about 15 years. And uh, I think this might be the most important lesson you could hear today. And that is, don't be a dick. <laughs> I think along the way, I know, it's simple. It sounds super simple. And you guys are sitting there going, I'm not, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. You are the one. You probably are the one. And that's OK. I'm here to help you correct that. Um, so. Um, as an artist, I think it's really, it's amazing. What you guys are doing is amazing. You're reaching into what's going on in your, in your soul and you're pulling out creation and you're putting it on canvas, you're putting it on a wall, you're performing it on a stage. That's something I would never do. I'm sh like shaking inside, like this is not my comfort zone. But you guys are, are truly amazing people to be able to, to reach in and, and share that and ask someone to look at it. So there's intrinsically a level of ego that comes with that. And I think what I'm saying is that you just have to find the balance. So find the confidence, be proud, be prideful. And when you're sharing your work to, to me as a director, to a curator, to a publicist, do it with pride, do it with confidence, share it and show them why you deserve to have their eyes and, and your work in their space. But, but there's definitely a fine line. So let's say you get chosen to be in a group show. Who's been in a group show here? Thank you. So sometimes there's five people, sometimes there's 10 people in the group show, and sometimes there's 20, right? And, and on the curation side, on my side, um, there's a lot to manage. We're dealing with the paperwork, the labels, the artist statements, all of the contracts, all of that stuff. And, um, and then you walk in. You walk in with your piece, it's huge. It's like seven feet long, and you're like, uh, I really think my work needs to be seen from afar. I really, you know, you need to gain some perspective, which means it's going to go in the very first wall when you walk into the gallery, and that's what you demand from us. And we look at you sideways, and we're like, okay, sweetie, thanks so much. Would you just leave it here? We'll take care of it. And, and we may put it there, because naturally it fits there, and because it is the best piece in the in the in the show. And you're chosen because we love what we saw. But there's no reason to demand that. That little extra move is the asshole move I'm talking about. Um, and, what, and, um, and, and so I think it's like a little bit of humility, a little bit of humbleness um, goes a long way. And we just kind of note that stuff. And we're always building files of what's coming through our gallery, from your work to your personality to your timeliness all of that stuff, we're kind of creating a file. Um, so let me back up a little bit and tell you, um, I run a creative art space. I'm the one who hires the person that chooses the artist that goes on the walls. I'm the one who helps select and determines which curator we're gonna work with in the future. Um, and chances are you don't know who I am. And that's kind of by design, right? So, so you work really closely with the gallery manager, you work really closely with the curator, you've probably charmed the pants off of my office assistant, and they love you, but you don't know who I am. I'm kind of the like Oz behind the curtain. And I'm not saying I have the power, God, believe me, I was a dick a while ago, and I've learned my lesson along the way. But, um, 
but I, I'm the decision maker. And, and you don't know who I am. If you meet me at a gallery show or if you meet me at a party and I come up and say, hey, how are you doing? I, I hear you're an artist. What kind of work do you do? I've literally had someone look at me and go, uh, you know what, I'm just not in the mood. Can you just like go to my website and like just see what kind of work I do? And I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Happy to, happy to. And, <laughs> and, um, and I'm not going to ban you from the gallery. That's not what I'm saying, because that would be double standard, and then I would be the asshole. But it's just going to kind of go in the file as noted, and it's just going to kind of be be this, this mark. Um, and all of us talk in the industry because it's a small world that we've created. Curators talk to curators, galleries talk to galleries, and so we know if you've, if you've pissed someone off that you've, that, that kind of carries with you. Um, that is not to say that we are the arbiters, right? So you also have the power to create your own space, to show your own work, to share your own vision and your own goal. We are not the gatekeepers, but we are here to support. I personally am here to support your craft and your career. Um, but I just, I just really think this is a valuable lesson. I've worked with emerging artists, and I've also had the pleasure of working with um, professional artists, and I will tell you, I love emerging artists. You guys really, you, you see opportunity and you seize it and you grab it and, you, and you, you're opportunist. You learn from it and you grow from it. Um, and so kudos to you guys for not being assholes, I guess. <laughs> um, I think uh, the last thing I wanted to say was um, is just be human as well along the journey. Uh, we're human, you're human. Um, and, and back to that, you don't know who you're talking to. It's not just me, really, I, you know, I'm, I'm nobody in, in the game. Um, but you, you could be talking to a collector, you could be talking to a buyer. Um, you should just always be on when you're out in the art world because you are your own publicist and you are your own brand. And you really want to share that. And if you want to be an asshole and that is your brand, go for it. Like, no one's stopping you. Go ahead and run with that. We know that there are plenty of assholes who are doing just fine in this world. Um, but I guarantee they don't get a lot of repeat business. So that's all I had to say on that subject. Um. Thank you.